Hey, what is going on everybody? Tom from Tom's Randomness, and in today's video, we're going to bust out the Cherry Pickers Guide, and I am going to sort through 20 Washington Quarters here, uh, the sound everybody loves, to see if I have any of the listed varieties in the Cherry Pickers Guide. So let me get these all sorted out. I'll flip you around so you can see what we have. And if I'm being honest, I already made this video once and it was terrible. So I already know what's in here, but you don't. So we're gonna act like I don't and we're gonna go through this whole process again. I'll get these sorted out by uh, date, mint mark, and um, I'll show you what we have. All right, so you can see here we've got our quarters arranged from date and mint mark here. We have the Denver's down here, the Phillies up here, starting in 1945, going to 1964. Um, I already have done this, and I've already found that this coin right here, I believe, has a repunched mint mark, and I will just post a still image in the video here so you can kind of see it. Uh, but I want to talk quickly about some of the potential errors you can find if you have this date range of coins. But primarily, we're going to focus on the most popular. We're going to start with the 1964 because everybody probably has a 1964 Philly or Denver laying around. And the 1964 double die reverse, which is really obvious in the book. I'll show you that. I don't think I'll get too much trouble showing you that. You can see there the letters are clearly doubled. You've got like stair steps on the letters. So double die reverse in AU50 is 100 bucks. That's pretty cool. Then you have another variety. And then so the doubling is a little bit different here in AU55. It's 100 bucks. I'll show you that one. It's like the doubling is below the letters instead of, uh, oh, can't really show it that well. There you go. You can see it. And then you have a, another double die reverse and another double die reverse. You have several double die reverses. Uh, the one that is the most valuable of them all is the one I showed you first where the doubling is kind of like a stair step. This one would be the most valuable doubling. And then uh, you get the idea there. So I don't want to bore you with all of that. Um, the only coin that I did find that I think is a find, and I'm like I said, I'm not trying to get in trouble with your, uh, you know, copyright or any of that stuff. But you you see here, we have a repunched mint mark. I have found so many repunched mint marks, or what I believe to be repunched mint marks, pretty apparent there. And like I said, I will go ahead now and enter a picture, or try my best to show it. Is this the one? Is this the ugly one? Yeah. It's not ugly. It's beautiful. It's silver, right? You can see it just looks bigger. And above it and on the sides, you can kind of see the mint mark there. Now, I am not, ex not an expert, so that could be just something smashed it. But I will, again, take a better picture here. Zoom in close to that D, the Denver mint mark there, and let you see it. And uh, then we'll do a wrap-up. All right, well, this is the final conclusion for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. I know it was a mess of a video. It's taken me way too long to make it. It is, I don't even know what time it is, to be honest with you, but um, the first time I filmed it, I literally was going way too in depth, and I realized that I was half asleep, so you probably would have been too. So I kind of tried to shorten it down and, uh, make it as informative as I could, but also be be careful not to get too carried away with revealing the Cherry Pickers Guide, uh, because I'm sure they would rather you buy it than me show it on YouTube for free. Um, but also, this coin that we uh, did find, it's not certified as a repunch mint mark, but I'm pretty sure it is, and you can be the judge. But either way, if we get 10 unique commenters on this video, so 10 different people comment on this video, this is the giveaway for this, this video. Now, uh, in other videos that I've recently posted, I've mentioned that if we get 10 commenters on this video, you'll get a 
silver quarter. Well, this is why I bought these silver quarters. It's to sprinkle in the silver, salt bay style. Let's actually do that. Let's see what that sounds like. That's going to be terribly loud. There. That's as good as it gets. But I truly do hope you enjoyed this video. If you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing because I am literally going to be doing an awesome 2,000 subscriber giveaway. We just did an awesome 1,700 subscriber giveaway. And uh, I think we gave away five or six ounces of silver in that one. This one, we're going to at least be giving away five or six coins and one of them, six coins, and one of them will be gold. So be sure you're watching. Um, tell your friends to come join to get some free stuff because I don't make anything off this, but I enjoy making it. And the more I make, the more I have to force myself to learn and read these books because, um, and I say force, but I really enjoy this. So with that said, good luck, God bless, and I'll see you all in the next one.